Hi, I'm Sam Carmen with the Indiana Division of Forestry, and with me today is forest wildlife biologist Scott Halton. We're in the woods, Scott, and when I think of reptiles and amphibians, I don't think of the woods. Yeah, they're here uh, even in this cold day today. They're under our feet, they're in the soil, they're, they're staying out of the cold, they're trying to keep warm, uh, and uh, they're probably under some of this logging slash behind us. And what, uh, what kind of habitat do they look for here? Well, amphibians, forest amphibians, uh, such as wood frogs and, and uh, some of the pond breeding salamanders that we have out here, they'll spend most of their life underneath the forest litter, uh, in the soil, uh, underneath some logging slash or some of the coarse weed debris that we have out here. Uh, at certain times of the year, though, They'll migrate to uh, some of the forest ponds that we have here on the forest uh, to breed. Now, we're in an area of the forest that's been harvested recently. How might that have impacted the reptiles and amphibians? Uh, amphibians especially are, are very sensitive to changes in humidity and moisture. Uh, as I mentioned, they need to uh, have water or moisture to, to breed, their, to keep their eggs from drying out. Uh, they can also breathe through their skin, so they need to keep uh, moist, their skin moist, uh, so they're very sensitive to when the canopy is removed, particularly in large openings, and the uh, the sun is, uh, desiccates or dries out the soil that they're living in. Remember to leave uh, the tops, the, what we call the logging slash, behind after a, a timber harvest. Uh, that'll cover the ground. It'll uh, keep the it'll help keep the soil from drying out. Um, and it'll also keep the, help keep the leaf litter in place. So what about reptiles? Reptiles actually uh, aren't as adverse to openings and removal of the canopy as the amphibians are. They're not as, as tied to water as amphibians are. Uh, they'll actually take advantage of, of the openings being created in a forest canopy and once they leave their hibernacula, the place they spend the winter, they'll move out into these openings where the sun's coming in, warm themselves up, they're ectothermic, so they'll take advantage of the, the, the sun and the, and the external source of heat. So that's why you often uh, will see turtles and snakes particularly uh, kind of basking on the trail as you're, as you're out in the woods. Yeah, they they're, like the sun, they're they sun like lovers. The sun. All yeah. right, and a, a harvest like this, how does it affect their food supply? Actually, it'll increase their food supply. Like I said, these are really good places to uh, attract some of the prey for a lot of snakes, um, and uh, they're, they're favorable habitat for small mammals, for insects. A lot of the, the food that, say, box turtles, species of concern here in Indiana, uh, they'll find that here too in these openings with uh, soft mast and berries. All right. Well, thank you very much, Scott. You bet, Sam. And if you're a forest landowner and are having a timber sale, remember to leave some slash on the ground for these reptiles and amphibians. For more forestry information, be sure and visit our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the woods.